All right, I'm gonna explain how to use the TCL Roku TV remote. It's very simple. All right, the first thing at the top, you're gonna to see there is an off and on button. And I'm sure you're familiar with that icon that signals off and on. So all I do is just press that button and it turns the TV on. And as you can see, the TV's coming on. And once it comes on, it comes on to usually the home page. But if it doesn't, you can always come down to this left side and you can see that it has a little house on it and you just press that and that'll take you directly to your home page. All right, so this one here I'm going to show you after we open up a specific page. But if you look here, you're gonna see there's directional arrows and most people understand those. In the center is your set or your okay or your check button that whenever you find something that you want, you click that and then it goes to whatever that is. But first, let's watch how it works. All right, so if I go to the right arrow right here, I can navigate to the right. Now watch that light box on the left as it moves right. I can move it there, 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 and then over here, there's an advertisement for some movie. If I wanna go back, I just hit the left arrow and it moves me back. All right, now let's say I want to go down I can click this one and watch. You'll see, see how it's highlighted? And as I click it, it drops. Now, if I wanna go up, I go to the top arrow and click that and it moves it up. I wanna use my YouTube because that way I won't have any copyright infringement. All right, so I've, I've, I've negotiated it down to the YouTube. So what I had to do is, let's say I went this way and then I went that way. To go up, I click this one, by the way. So. To go left, you go that way, right that way, up that way, down that way. Pretty simple, right? So now I'm on YouTube and I wanna open YouTube. So all I have to do is press this button right here. And what it'll do is it'll open up this page on the screen. It's gonna take a while because it's gotta load from the internet. And bam, there we are, we're in YouTube and it's loading. I have this connected to the internet and I'm hoping I don't have to put my... <laughs> Apparently not. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the side here and show you something. That mutes it, so I'm gonna hit that. That'll mute it. Um, now, what I wanna do is I wanna go to some, one of my videos. So I'm gonna go to search, and I'm gonna go over, and I'm gonna hit my videos up there. All right, so these are my videos right here. I do a lot of 48-hour film things. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that because it's gonna be mine. It's gonna save us from copyright problems. And bam, it's gonna to go to this first movie right here. I'm just gonna open that up. And um, the way I open it up is I've highlighted it, as you can see, right there. Now, if I wanted to move to the, to the right, I could go like that, I could open that movie, or I could go to this one. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm just gonna click on this one right here. All right, so to click on it, to open it, I'm just gonna click that center button, bam and that'll open it up. Oh, there's an ad, and of course it, so there we go, I just muted it. Anyway, I'm gonna show you up here. You can change the sound at the top. If I push on this button here, watch, it goes down, the number drops, you see that? If I push on this button, the number goes up, and then to mute it, I just go here, and let's mute it. All right, so it's muted now. So now, it's gonna start playing this. So this is interesting because if I hit this button right here, it's gonna go back one page. So watch if I click this. It goes right back to this page. Now if I click it again, watch it'll go back one more page. Right there, okay? So let's go ahead and navigate back down to our movie and let's go ahead and hit it again. Turn it on. Of course we may have to suffer through, oh there we go. So that's the name of the movie. It was last year's film. So now it's coming on. And um, so this just takes you back one page. So you guys understand that. All right, so now the movie's playing here, right? And I've got it muted. I mean, if I take the mute off, Not too many people here. you can hear it. I can turn it up by hitting this top one here. Hey, Chilwell, can't you see there's no people around here? We're gonna have to furlough you. Take a break. Go See on vacation that? or something. I can make it go down why by doing this. Why are you out? And then I can mute it right here. So mute, 
down and up. Up on the top, you can tell because if you look, it shows like expanding sound and detracting sound, and then the X means mute. So expanding sound, detracting, and mute. So we got it on mute right now. All right, let's get back to the movie. Let's get back to this, I mean. All right, so here we are. Let's say we're watching this and, um, and we're like, shoot, I just missed something. So this one here, when I hit it, when I push on it, which I'm gonna do in a second, you're gonna watch the timeline move back. Here's our timeline, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and press that. See how it just moves back a little bit? So you can keep doing that until it gets all the way back to where you want it. And then when you're ready to play it, you just hit this right here, watch. And then it'll play, right? And then if we want to hear it, we just click over here. A pandemic is when all the pans, like this one, they... <laughs> it's muted. All right, so that's how that works. So like when you're watching a movie and you're like, oh shoot, what was that? You can just hit this, it'll just move back you know, a number of seconds. I think it's probably like maybe five seconds, something like that. And so that gives you uh, the ability just to do a quick review of the scene that you just missed. And we'll do it one more time. And now let's go ahead and hit play. So it just move back to that scene there. You see, we saw that twice. All right, now, if you look down here, this is this here, if I press this, it'll stop the video, watch. You see the little two, uh, bam, it stops the video. I press it again, it starts it. Bam, done. Now the video's playing. Stop, start. And you can watch the timeline right there. It should disappear in a second. Bam, it's gone. All right, now, if you look, you're gonna see right here and right here. So you can advance the, the movie or you could reverse the movie. So if I hit this, you're gonna see the timeline and I, and I can pop it forward. You see that? Then I can hit play. And then the movie will go to wherever I set it. Now, if I want to go backwards, I hit this one right here, which is kind of like the one just above it. You can see the timeline moving back. Then I hit play. And bam, it just goes backwards and pl to plays that. Now, there's some quick um, shortcuts here too. You've got Netflix, Sling, Hulu, and now. If I press these, It'll take me to those things. I'm not going to press them right now because I want to show you um, this uh, settings feature. So now your TV has some settings, and this is the settings feature. So what I do is I click on that, and I'm going to get on the left side a... Uh, so this opens up a map of your settings for the, the actual TV. And in this, you can change the uh, aspect ratio of the picture. You can change the sound, the controls, the brightness, all of these different things that are part of the TV. And you use the remote to navigate to different spots. You click on it to open them up, and then you navigate and change them uh, to your desired positions that you want. I pretty much leave all of mine on auto, and that seems to work for me. All right, so that's basically how this thing works. It's pretty simple. You know, the settings, you know, you're going to have to decide what you want to do with those. Um, if you want to go back to the home page, you just click here, and it brings you back to that first page that we looked at. Um, down here, I'm just going to show you. Let's say you're watching something. You just want to zoom out of there and get to Netflix. All you got to do is hit that. Bam. It'll take you right to Netflix. You don't have to go to the home. You don't have to go anywhere. And it's asking me who I am, and I'm Tom. And there it is, Netflix, bam, done. Now, if you want to go to Hulu, you click that. It'll go right to Hulu. Well, it's supposed to go to Hulu. There we go. Hit it again. It's having a hard time. Oh, there we go. Something happened. Bam, Hulu. All right, now, if you want to go to the home, you just hit here. And it takes us right back to that home page. Now, on the home page, you know, this is not really dealing with the remote, but if you want to go through some different things on this uh, on this map you can go and you can look at your feed and you can look at the movie store and you go to the tv store and you go to a search and you go to streaming channels and you can go to my offers and settings and then it just brings you right back to home and um you know how you set up your internet and all that that's a whole nother um video i mean as i move over i'm moving over to different inputs you can see there's a blu-ray player satellite then there's my uh, apps like Netflix. Then there's live TV if you have have it hooked to, uh, you know, to a uh, uh, antenna on your roof. 
and then there's uh, you know the streaming box and back to home. All right, so that's pretty much it. And then I have all my apps. Whoops. Then I have all my apps underneath here. Like there's my Prime. You know, there's Hulu. These are all the different applications that I have. And um, you know, you got to decide what you want to put on your TV, of course. And the and you always want to point this end. It's infrared, I guess. It has like a signal that shoots to it. And then in the back. There's a little section back here where you put all of your batteries. And what, every once in a while, you're going to have to change it. But that's how you use your Roku TCL TV remote. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. And check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff with your Roku TV remote. And other stuff like that. Peace out.